We normally supply books when, or when the government doesn't send money in time. As we speak, there are several schools, schools which owe us money. And since in January, they have said that they are not going to send that money. How are we going to recover our money? That is my question. I have a good stock now, as you can see. Where am I going to take my stock? And I have bank loans. The publishers also want their money. If we don't sell, as the CS is, is, is saying, that is implementing another method. Where are we going to take our stock? This is my question. Schools normally uh, give us LPOs even the government before the government releases the money. So already we have LPOs, we have taken bank loans to service those LPOs. So just a few weeks ago we are being told now from January there will be no money to schools. So we really don't know how we'll repay the loans. We don't know where we'll take the stocks that we've already uh, bought from, the, the, from our publishers. We already have them in our stores waiting for January to, 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 to do the sales. So when it is just announced abruptly that from January there'll be no uh, uh, money to secondary or primary schools, I think it will really, it's a big blow to, the, to our businesses and it's really going to kill our, this industry. We need to know the truth about this. And uh, I ask the Kenya publishers to tell the government the, the government the truth about pricing of books, not the booksellers. We use the prices that they give us to set the price of the of the textbooks. We have families, and we have been depending on this. We have employees. We have employed over fifteen thousand. Where are they? Where are, where are they going to? And uh, this is also our source of in income a big blow to us. Why? Because they are pushing us out of business. Where will we go? The government of Jubilee, since it came into power, it said they wanted to create over 500,000 jobs a year. We entrepreneurs are helping them create the 500,000 jobs a year. If they want now to stop us from doing business, it means that three or four people we employ per bookshop, or even five book, big bookshops employ even ten people it means they are going to be redundant. Will Jubilee now claim that it is us who, are, who have created our employment, or it is them? They should look at this thing afresh. We have taken the LPOs we have with us, we have given the orders to supply, and some of us have even supplied the books. It's not only the, this region of maybe Homa Bay or South Nyanza that is affected, we are affected the whole of Kenya. So we are urging government we may come so, so that we can, can come together and listen together about this issue.